Hello there lovely people, good morning from Thaka Bangladesh. As I promised, I am going to do that Dolce & Gabbana fragrance today, which I showed yesterday right there if you follow my channel. So it's missing from that, that where is that, yeah, that spot where I kept it. So as you can see from title as well, there's nothing to hide. I'm going to be talking about one of my recent purchase. It's going to be an initial impression. I will update it in the summertime. This is Dolce & Gabbana Fruit Collection Pineapple. I think that's what it's called. And I think this fragrance is marketed towards both genders, unisex style, 150 ml huge bottle and I bought a tester got an awesome deal you can get these in general very expensive if you actually look for this I think not many reviewers reviewed it couple of big reviewers reviewed it Sebastian and I think one of the reviewer really my favorite review I follow his channel I think he covered the whole line or sort of uh, I didn't see the whole video but I saw that he reviewed it so I actually was interested in pineapple because I think this note really really interest me whatever has pineapple i buy it immediately buy it because you can see sometimes maybe my love for aventus that's what started the pineapple craziness uh, i also get pineapple from savage and ultra male so we'll talk about all that stuff sentiments and if it's worthy looking at how much it cost here and uh, how much it should cost is it uh, a beast mode all these questions i'll tackle but performance is just in winter so i have to wait in summer so i'll update also in summer so as i don't have a box i'm just going to show you the bottle this bottle is everything okay when you see these kind of caps you just want this bottle just for the caps i'm pretty sure people ask you uh, like can i just buy the cap of this thing you know <laughs> because it looks cute it has like real pineapple on there so the thing is like my dear brother ifran bhai uh, he owns page usb he brought these he took pre-orders but i didn't order it then i was not sure even though he's offering an excellent hundred hundred ten dollars i think if i convert it hundred hundred ten dollars uh, that is like less than half of what actually is going for uh, i saw sebastian mention this fragrance in uk or us is going for 150 mil for i think 200 pounds 250 pounds which is ridiculous or 150 pounds I, I don't remember 200 or something like it's very expensive high end niche pricing and people on most part i read all the comments on fragrantica before i made my purchasing decision uh, they say this is like an insult this is like an insult to them as a fragrance enthusiast the price tag so there is definite bashing on this and main major concern of people is okay it's an expensive fragrance but does it smell nice uh, do you get like a realistic uh, pineapple or does it have longevity these are the main question people have and i think if you pay top dollars like niche prices borderline niche or high-end designer you expect those these are fair calls so here is the bottle, very elegant. It reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana, the only one bottles I have that. Uh, then this is like the juice color is in this yellow or pineapple juice color. And there's the pineapple cap is very, very heavy. I was actually expecting very light, flimsy cap like Dolce & Gabbana K. But this is very heavy. I think there's metal or something in there. I would be really loving this little bit more if it was magnetic. That would be awesome. But it's okay. It clicks onto place. Nice. So there's a fruit, there's also lemon and there's also orange, which, which I was not interested in. I have many lemon and orange based perfumes. So I met Ifran Bhai, he brought this fragrance uh, with his own hand. He drove to my place and we had, I think, lunch or early dinner. And then I found like a real life pineapple in the restaurant, like in the juice corner, juice bar. I said, can I borrow that? I'll put that picture as wallpaper or thumbnail. So enough of the talk, nice little presentation, sticker is there. Uh, the prices in Bangladesh, Ifran Bhai is selling it for 100 something dollars, which is very reasonable, very reasonable, okay, but still it's not cheap. So how much, how is this, you know, uh, let's spray and talk about it. Sprayer is good. I, I really like the sprayer. I really like doing this. I can do all day, you know, never ever will uh, offend anybody. So it's a good thing. It's a bad thing. Uh, first of all, smell. Okay, when I smell this, I will, I heard. They say this smell like real pineapple juice and it's like a real fruit. Uh, you have smelled that in pineapple vintage, pineapple, uh, those, those house, pineapple vintage intense. They have a lot of pineapple based perfumes. Pakuraban Black Excess, I believe has pineapple, strawberry, that sort of vibe. Aventus has pineapple. And then a few other fragrances. They have some fragrances. They make single note fragrances. They have pineapple only. So Ultra Mail, I feel has pineapple. So this pineapple, it's actually a mix of pineapple and lemon to my nose. When I smell it, the opening will blow you away. First thing, the niche quality about this perfume is it's a niche quality opening. I just love this opening. This opening is worth million bucks. You can buy this bottle for 
just for this bottle, the name and the opening. These three things are amazing. It will just blow you away. I think it will really do justice in hot summer's day. It's very heavy by the way and very bulky. The thing is, it's very juicy. It reminds me a little bit of Cedrat Boise to me, but better. Okay, Cedrat Boise has this kind of like a synthetic vibe. This one has the most natural opening. So the most natural opening they gave you, they gave you pineapple and lemon. I wish it was more pineapple and less lemon, but it's kind of like a 60-40, 60, 60 pineapple, 40 uh, lemon. If you ask me how did I determine it, I went, I took a dive inside it, took a swim, and then I had, you know, drank a bit too much. I passed out, then I realized it's a 60-40, that's the split. So, anyway, <laughs> so the thing is, that's a beautiful opening. It's natural, I really like it. It reminds me, sound the Aquari Parma natural opening, but it's actually mandarin, lemon. I get those vibes, you know, it's like pure fruit uh, floating on blue water. Uh, sunny skies you know like sunny days you know like uh sorry blue skies sunny days and you're out in picnic families like time spending and stuff this is a fragrance for those kind of occasions summertime beach volleyball picnics you know school holidays you take this fragrance with you even though it's supremely heavy very heavy and both men and women can wear it so it smells really nice it develops to be a little bit of disappointment uh in couple of ways so if you're asking for a little bit uh say <laughs> criticism uh, longevity on this is good okay uh, those who want to know longevity is good i smell it after five six hours but it's very faint on my skin so this one hangs on to you but doesn't really want to project because it's perhaps winter it needs high heat sun it reminds me of dolce and gamma light blue for women versace menu fresh and a little bit of uh, pakuraban black excess if you have those this fragrance will not come off as a very unique perfume okay so the uniqueness is that opening of pineapple are you ready to pay that premium price for pineapple that's up to you so the specialty is the smell and then the natural smell but i feel if you are having to pay 250 dollars for this fragrance it's going to be a crime and i do agree with people when they say it's an insult uh, this one they can easily repack in a designer's uh, bottle and they can sell it for say 100 you know, hundred dollars would be the right price for this, but hundred fifty ml is a lot of juice. So perhaps hundred twenty bucks would be really good. But I, I can understand they cannot do it, right? So the thing is, it's a fruity perfume. It's a not a very thick, not like hachivat or anything. But you will immensely enjoy this more and more. You wear it's a kind of like a uh, addictive smell. I really enjoy that. And I'm just waiting for winter to pop. This also reminds me of one of my favorite perfumes. For some reason, Pacific Rock Moss. Their nature is kind of same. Uh, this one even uh the lemon based would be uh this one this is my favorite bohemian lime this one is that uh key lime or finger lime i forgot the names very special lime that one is also very mouth-watering natural so i would classify them as the same if you love those house this actually if you don't have problem with those house you won't have any problem with this but pacific rock moss has a little bit better performance okay so overall how happy am i i have to go like literally like you see i got it and i or a little bit of it you know like I shower in it on my hair my hoodie and I can smell it to be honest projection is about one and one hour and 15 minutes after that I have to do this oh oh yeah it's there still there you know so I'm happy about it but if you actually have Dolce and Gamana light blue for women this actually is that uh, lemon you know I think that Sicilian lemon they used here but that pineapple is missing in that one so only for pineapple should you buy this this is a collector's item okay if you really love the pineapple note but you don't mind the performance is kind of like average you know you can go ahead and buy this okay so i hope i answered those initial questions and uh, i really love the for the smell i'll give this like a 10 out of 10 no regret and the bottle is also 10 out of 10 longevity and projection for now i'll give it seven okay projection is kind of like six not seven longevity is seven so overall <clears throat> it's a bit uh the name is quite big they raised that hype i hope for an intensified intensified version of it you know that's what i'm saying it's a little bit disappointing in that way that uh, such a big bottle you know like big name and big price tag if it was beast mode this fragrance no one could touch it even aventus could not touch this i get reminded of a little bit of aventus with it but this is not an aventus clone so really nice beautiful clean citrus and i think a little bit of woody nothing much else going on it's just a very nice uh, light 
kind of like EDT concentration. So overall this fragrance smell 10, bottle 10, longevity and projection 6.5 average, compliment factor I haven't worn it enough so I cannot tell but this one nobody will hate. Office friendly, uh, ladies can wear it, men can wear it easily. Uh, so overall the rating for this I will give it if you take an average of everything it's kind of coming to an 8 you know uh, and I like the smell so I'm trying to give it 8 not 7 <laughs> so uh, to each his own. Try to sample it before committing the full bottle. Uh, I think it's an expensive investment so try before you buy. I won't say blind buy this if you're looking for a beast mode but you can blind buy this if you're looking for a smell that you're gonna love okay In that way it's safe. So amazing fragrance for me Dolce & Gabbana pineapple. I love the name, love the bottle, and I keep it. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching, and time for one more video, which is going to be a list. Take care. Bye-bye.